right, there's a new poll from Harris and Axios that looks at the popularity of American brands. The results are pretty interesting, and we do see the impact that world culture is having on corporate America and American consumers. Here are the top 10 brands. Americans seem to like their Japanese products. In fact, four of the top 10 companies are Japanese. Toyota, Sony, Honda, they're on that list. Uh, let's also talk about this and welcome in Brian Anderson. He's a former New York City commissioner for the Giuliani and Bloomberg administrations. Also back with us, marketing guru, Dr. John Tantillo. He's a professor of marketing at Toro University. Great to have you with us, gentlemen. Well, thank you for having me. Hi, John. All right, I, I just got to start with this question. Um, you know, Toyota, Honda, Sony, Japanese brands, John, still uh, very popular among uh, with Americans. What's going on there? Well, it's their culture. Uh, do no harm or embarrass no one uh, is what uh, the Japanese are all about. And talking about uh, politics in um, polite society just doesn't work. And the Japanese understand that. And uh, that's what I believe is going on. It's a cultural thing. A cultural thing. Uh, let's take a little look further down the list. Brian Apple comes in at 21. Uh, TikTok and Facebook, you can see where they rank. I mean, Americans use these products every single day, uh, but apparently they don't like them very much. Well, what it is, we, uh, this, this, this poll of, of 33,000 people, that's a lot of people. Uh, so I give a lot of respect to this poll. It's telling corporations, we love your product, but we don't want politics put in our face. Um, I don't even understand why corporations would seek to alienate half their buyers because America is really divided down the middle uh, in their in their political leanings. So we, we love your products, but we don't like your politics, and it's showing now. I mean, Google uh, and Twitter were banning people. They, they weren't even airing their opinions. Um, they, they will go elsewhere. Yeah, I'm, we see new... Um Platforms emerging all the time, Truth Social being one of them, Getter, another one, Rumble, um, trying to compete with YouTube as well. But there were some surprises, John. You know, Delta used to say, we love to fly, and it shows. Um, apparently, if you look at all the cancellations, uh, the pilots don't love to fly right now. They're picketing the company. Uh, and Delta's not doing very well when it comes to consumer brands in this country. Well, uh Yes and no. Uh, when it comes to wokeness, uh, that has uh, uh, interfered somewhat in the perception that people don't like Delta. But when it comes to what they do best, which is flying and getting uh, their customers from place to place on time, that's a, uh, another issue, which is seen in um, one of the... Um, uh, polls that rank service that doesn't really tap into this wokeness idea. Yeah, I mean, wokeness is a factor. I think, you know, that shades everyone's opinion of your business. And Brian, as you, as you indicated before, some pe sometimes people just want the product. They don't want all of the baggage that comes with the product. Uh, make me a mousetrap. That mousetrap catches mice and doesn't really need to do anything else, right? So building a better mousetrap might just be having mousetraps that just catch mice and not give us all their politics as well. Exactly. Great to have you with us, gentlemen. Like Brian Anderson. Product. And, yeah, sure. John, uh, go ahead, Brian, real quick. No, I like your product, but keep your politics at it by face or I can go elsewhere. That's yes. essentially what they're being told. Yes, that's the great thing about mm -hmm. capitalism and, choice. And, and branding is and marketing is all about satisfying needs. Not, not, none of this other nonsense. All right. John Tantillo, Brian Anderson, gentlemen, thank you. Good to see you both.